Hello and welcome back to some more Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals, the risk meta settings, the most popular settings in online risk. And look at these blizzards, man. Spain is cut in half. Italy is cut off from Africa in the bottom. The entire bottom section is a one point hold from Benghazi or Nalu or Surte. Any of these three holds the entire bottom section on hostage. Now, Noob Corner is a two point from Denmark and, and London up here because of the Finland blizzard. Russia, pretty good hold. If I take this Kharkiv cap, I'm in a pretty good position to go for the Russia bonus early and try to take Eastern Europe afterwards. So I think I'm going to cap in Kharkiv and fight whoever's in front of me and try to go for the plus seven of Russia and plus eight of Eastern Europe. Really good looking uh, position there. I could alternatively go Dino Rides or Dino, however you pronounce this, um, to, to, uh, to take this bonus, this plus four here. But then I'm fighting, and then I'm part of the fight down here, maybe. I could go Alps and then look at taking Italy. But I actually really like the way of uh, playing out of Russia this, this game. Especially since Russia will transition into Eastern Europe. So red and purple are both here. We don't know where the black bot is. I guess somebody didn't click ready, so we have a black AI. I'm going to cap here. Let's do it. Let's play for Russia. Let me show you the settings briefly. See if I can see what White's doing first. Uh, he's going to take the middle bonus. Okay. <clears throat> cool. So, settings. We are playing Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. The most popular settings in all of online risk, if you don't know. We have Fog and Blizzards on. No alliances and no portals. So, how Fog works is you can see every territory you are bordering. But you can't see anything that you are not bordering. So, every orange territory we see, because that's mine. And every territory my territories touch, you can see. But we can't see anything outside of that, so we're going to have to play around that. So Red looks like he's trying to get... Oh, man. Not great dice there. He's going to still only have a 4-cap. Dude, your 4-cap... Generally, by the end of turn 1, you want to make sure you have bigger than a 4-cap. <laughs> what is this? <clears throat> oh, don't tell me Pink is in Lviv. Lviv? Because I'll be fighting him to the death here. I bet he is. Ah, oh, Pink is Captain Lviv. So he's in a Lviv, and he's trying to hold Eastern Europe plus eight. It's unfortunate I couldn't see him there, because we're going to be fighting to the death now. Um, there's nothing I can do. I can't allow him to hold this plus eight and then fight me. I have to try to hold this behind him and block him from coming into me. I don't open his capital. So my game plan is going to be pop his two here, and then take most of Russia. I won't be able to get Russia, but... It is... Uh... It's just the fight we're going to have. It's unfortunate. Now, black player, black AI, is going to be looking to take Orient. Did it lose its cap? No. Seven troops to start. Does it roll? Uh, actually, it, its cap could easily be in the Orient if it's rolling like this. So I might actually get a chance to snipe its cap. I'm going to pop this bonus from pink and then go looking to see if I can find black's capital. Because if I can hold two capitals, that'll put me in a good position. He's fist bumping me. Wait, purple's cap. Purple rolled this and gave up the France cap. Ah, uh, so did Red bot? Red bought it immediately. Um, whew. I need to break him, and I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the France cap and break him. So go there with a six. I have a six cap. I'm gonna do this actually. I'm gonna take this. He, purple wanted the noob corner cap, so he abandoned for that. Pink wants to fist bump me, but I don't think so. I'm not letting him hold that. Now I have two capitals. I'm going to fight Pink to the death. Yeah. So, as I said, Red left his capital way too weak. As soon as Purple saw four cap, he's like, oh, I'll just take that. Wait. White's rolling my six. What the fuck game is this? You don't roll an 11v6 cap. That's stupid. It's only stupid if you don't get god dice to follow it. That's ridiculous. Okay. So I wasted seven troops over here <clears throat> just trying to take that capital. And the red bot doesn't even succeed on the white break. That's interesting. All right. This is a very feisty lobby, man. So if white's willing to fight and white and purple are going to fight over here, I'm going to fight pink. Black's an AI and red's botted. It means the entire bottom section of the map is uncontested. He's going to try to hold this again, but I'm not letting it happen. I will hit your two again. By, by all rights, okay, purple bot might actually roll up into him, and then I don't have to break him. Come on, purple. Wait, purple bought it. Yeah, why did I say purple bot? Why did purple bot? This game is so dumb. 
Because I took his capital that he left empty? I, I, I don't understand that at all. Why? Okay, and now purple broke pink and white. Good, fuck both of you. We're in a three-player game. It's pink, white, and me, and that's it, right? Black gets seven troops again because it has so many territories. It will have Orient by the end of this turn. So I'm just going to clean out the top of Russia here and come back to my capital. And then uh, that's it. See, pink can fight purple here. Yeah, black bot's rolling all over the place. This is a two cap for purple, but... I mean, I could hit this two cap and try to hold it. Do I do that this time? Try a six... I, I don't have a fortify in there. White might just roll it again. He is stupid like that. I'll be honest, I'm just... I'm going to commit to uh, knocking out the back of this. Probably see black here soon. No, not yet. Okay. Whatever, I'm going to start knocking out Russia. Fortunately, I didn't have to break uh, Eastern Europe this time. I do get the largest trades by being last in the turn order, but... Dude, what the fuck is going on with Europe Advanced, man? Like, okay. Red plays very stupid, leaves a 4 cap. Purple yoinks it with a stupid, like, 9v4 roll. And then keeps this cap, abandons the other one. So then he quits too. He rolls red cap and then quits. So also stupid. And then white gets the bonus, starts with 11 troops or 10 troops, 10 troops. And he rolls an 11 V6 cap, gets a God roll. Like the, the, the start of this game was ridiculous. <laughs> so, uh, okay, he's got this bonus back, but maybe purple breaks him again. We'll see if pink retakes too. So red's getting five, it still holds Iceland. And pink didn't even hit this, this purple too. That's funny. I would love to see white get broken here in the middle. He's a feisty boy. Pink's going to try to take Eastern Europe again, but he has to hit a bot three. And I'll get to see the size of his cap when he does this. He starts with six. Oh, he's going to go for this bonus instead. Bad dice? No, he doesn't. He just goes back to capital and chills. Okay. Purple makes the cap. Okay, so red actually came all the way up to London, I think. Red, red's on Mercy with a stack. Now this comes out. I'm telling you, boys, this is a game that is very weird. At this point, I should have just went for the bottom, if I'm being honest. I should have just went for the bottom. Just start rolling. It. Who, are, who are the humans in the bottom? Pink and white are the last two left, right? Black bot now gets 10 because it holds its cap and what? Central Europe? It holds Central... Oh, it's going to break white here. Do it. Do it. Break white here. If I actually pop this pink too, maybe pink can't break me. Oh, it does. Taste it, white boy. Now we're just getting bulldozed by bots. This is hilarious. Uh, with any luck, Pink's losing enough territories that he will only get five on the upcoming turn. And that means if I take this bonus, I should be able to hold it after, you would think. Let's get good dice. Hit this. Not good dice. Oh my god, that's not a good roll either. I can't actually afford to hit that white... Uh, three. So I'm just going to do this. Pink wants... Pink will add invest here, unfortunately, because he thinks I might have Russia, but I don't. White gets seven because of his two capitals, but no more. But he's going to go take the third capital, probably. Three out of six now. Yep, there it is. He took the third cap, but now he's got to deal with red coming in behind him and purple surrounding him. He didn't even retake that bonus in the middle. Red starts with eight. So red has, like, Scandinavia and Iceland and... and or something like that. That's silly. Does it hit a cap? Does it take a cap back? No, maybe it's coming out here into black or something. This is such a weird game, man. Three people quitting like almost immediately. Like the, that first couple turns of just full on stupidity and then people quit. I think pink adds to Sevastopol just to make sure I don't have Russia. The reason I hit his two is because I was going to come off the two. And then I was going to come to Rostov and leave a two or three in Rostov to go down and hit South Russia and come back to cap. And then I was going to hope if pink added here, he could come up and fail the roll in or purple would block him and not make it in. And then I'd get to hold Russia. It looks like that's not the case. Now, if I do hold more than 12 territories, I will be able to 7v3 this white three. Does pink bot? Oh my God. If pink quits, I'm in a 1v1 with the white player. That's how fast this, this happens. If I'm in a 1v1 with a white player, then my goal turns into knock him out of as many positions as possible. 
and try to beat him by chaining the bot kills into him because he will eventually take this corner out. We don't know where White's other cap is either. Could be in the bottom. But we know he took this middle bonus. Don't know where his cap is. No, Pink's here. Pink is here. Good. <laughs> Unfortunately, if I did have Russia, Pink wasn't going to break me. Maybe, maybe Pink's in Georgia. I thought Black was taking Orient, but maybe not. So purple's rolling all the way around this capital. Black gets 11. Still holds Eastern Europe, I guess. It's going to knock out more white. It's also going to be stacking against this pink capital. It might even take this bonus here. Black is going to get very strong. Now, maybe I can sneak away into holding Russia. Okay, hits a purple too. That's fine. Hits my one, probably. Cool. It's pink one. Good. Pink one again. Yeah. Knock pink's territories down. That's what I really want to see. So I'm still on uh, 12 plus territories. I can hit the white three, which I need to. Boom. Okay, I need to knock blacks black out of here. Okay. Something like this. And then we're very hopeful that pink doesn't get to break me here. And we're, we're very hopeful that if Black completes this, he doesn't break me. Really putting Pink in the dumpster if I can. Uh, Pink actually missed a card that turn. Was that a fake card block? I don't know. Yeah, White's now, he starts with nine. So he does have three capitals, but nothing else. And nine or, or, or 11 or less territories. <clears throat> what a weird game, man. <laughs> this game could go any which. It's very unfortunate when people quit so early. Like Red played stupid and then he quit. I wish he played a little bit smarter and hung around in the game because if he played a little smarter, purple wouldn't have played so stupid and he wouldn't have quit probably. And then we'd have purple and red still in the game. Black didn't even click ready in the lobby on the load in. So we end up in this three player game with three bots. And now the game plan is to focus on killing the bots when the trades are bigger so I can chain the bot kills into beating the human opponents or snowballing with bonuses so I can bully the human opponents so they also bot or I can kill them before even the trades get big, right? Like if I can hold Russia, my hope is that black with ones touching my ones, if it does add down here, it doesn't add very much. And maybe it adds to Lebanon, hits their Zerum and goes to Kazayim, lose the 5v3, perfect roll in a fucking 5v3, stupid game. He didn't do this last turn, but this turn he knew I had it. Unfortunate. Hit his four, dude. Dude, 5v3 could definitely lose. It's like a 73% roll or something. Yeah. Okay, it's opening his cap to my cap a little easier. Ah, eh, whatever. I think I hit all three of these pink territories to get him out of here. Black wasn't going to break anyways. It didn't even add to retake Orient. Oh, wow. I'm hoping white gets broken in the middle, if he even took it. Where's black rolling, by the way? Oh, leader is only two out of six, by the way. So white lost a cap. Okay, that that stack should roll into white in the middle there. So I don't have to worry. My focus now is just to entirely focus down pink. I could try to knock pink out of down here, but no. We're going to uh, we're gonna do this. Good dice, please. We'll take it. Now Pink wants to break me, he can go through the purple too, but he has to show me how much his cap has. White gets eight now. Early trades. No, he doesn't really trade. He's on five. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if Pink trades or if he's going to hold to try to get the biggest trade. Because if he does hold, we'll see what he what his cap looks like. Maybe I'll try to kill him on my... Like if Pink doesn't trade here, maybe I'll just try to kill him. Maybe he's only here and here. It'd be funny to see. Red trades immediately next. So like with the red bot trading, the, the black bot's going to trade with purple bot trading, all of them smashing around in the middle. It is causing a lot of mayhem for white, which is great. He ha like White hasn't just solidified a position. Look at this. This is excellent. Knock this pink one out. We definitely want to lose Malila here. I think it's five. It's going to come through this two. Just make sure he breaks me. It's a 24 stack. Oh, he might even hit my cap. God roll on my cap again. This game's unfortunate. Takes my cap and doesn't lose anything. Doesn't trade. No problems. Ugh. All right. At least hit this one. 
I mean, I still get five for having 15 territories, unless black knocks me down a bit. Black is 21. And a trade. Whew. So it looks like Pink's going to be playing for Russia then. He also gets a big trade. What a ridiculous game of Europe Capitals. <laughs> what a ridiculous game. I mean, we're only 15 minutes in, and look what we got to deal with so far. Like, at this point, I almost want to abandon this upper position and just try to go down here, but it's not going to work, right? Then Pink gets this uncontested. So right now, Black's causing mayhem in the middle of the board. I need to be part of this middle of the board uh, game. No plus two anywhere interesting? I don't have any plus twos. Cool. Am I going to have a plus two? No, not anytime soon. So, theoretically, Pink might trade and, like, go for... Go for Russia. I, I gotta take his cap that he abandoned. Oh, no, I can't even. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, we'll go here and hopefully get a trade on three and ram dangle him with the trade on three. No luck. He won't get my kill if he sends me, though. Black is massive. What's white starting with? Five. Oh my god, White's gonna die to the bot. The bot's getting so big. I couldn't hit the 7 cap. I would die. I should have taken that full 18 and added it down here. I should have done that. Or in Orient and ran right through the bottom and tried to take like a bottom bonus or something. Red only gets 3. Trades for 15. It's not over. So I should be looking for kills on bots. And I should have added troops down here maybe and hit like uh, Andalusia. And then he held like a red kill guard or something. And then looked at like maybe purple to kill. Something like that. White gets knocked out of down here. Pink's not down here either. So red, black, and purple. Three bots down here just smashing each other. I need to keep Portugal. I need to hold it because white or uh, pink may try to kill me here. If he does, I add three to Portugal and hit the red one. And then we pray purple doesn't come in and break me. Or come in and kill me. Pink trades for 20. Oh, his first trade was 20. Oh, okay. Just goes to Sebastopol and then back to Cap. Okay. Means my 18 lives. Oops. All right, we have to play. We have to play around the bots. Um, he's trying to stay strong on cap in case I trade and suicide slam him. Okay, so I'm still on 12 territories. No! Okay. If black doesn't hit me, I get four troops. Black gets 30 troops with a 25 trade. Uh, I need to pray pink has no set on three, and I need to somehow survive. I'm going to add to this corner and bring this 18 down here if I can. Holy. I need to stay away from black, actually. Holy crap. This is terrifying. Can I kill red for one card here? That'd be funny. I only got three troops. I'm going to go to this corner and bring my 18 down. Go, let's go, let's go. I have to take this. Hopefully purple doesn't see and kill me. And then I bring the 18 down here. Not bordering black, not bordering him. I have no trade on four in the most crucial time ever. <clears throat> Why did he lose eight killing my nine cap, by the way? Why didn't he lose 14 or 16 or something? Why do you lose eight killing a nine cap? Broken game. <laughs> So maybe with some luck, like somebody fail kills purple or something, and I can, purple has no set, and then I just add three here and pop it and get a free purple kill. I mean, that would be a dream. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I'm going to be on five cards, and my next card, if I don't get one up here, will be taking, no, it won't be taking the bonus. So fortunately, it won't be taking the bonus, so anybody in Rabat might not focus on coming in to break me, but purple might have a stack in Rabat, so I don't want to open it. He takes a card, and is he going to try to take Russia? Because that's not going to work. He doesn't want to overextend in case I trade and then hit him, right? Because the trades are 30. He's cautiously thinking that I might try to kill him, and he is smart. Because if I had a trade and he's on four cards and he gets too weak on cap, I could theoretically kill him. He sees the 18. So he stops. So I'm going to add all three back here. Oh, no. Okay, purple didn't add here yet. Please don't add in here. That's all that matters. Purple started with three, traded for 30. 
God, I need to survive. He won't find me in this corner. I'm going to add three to this top corner and pray. And if purple is just traded, it's not going to be able to kill me next turn in here. Maybe somebody else does, but... Whew. This is crazy. Is white still here? White's about to trade and go rampage the board. Pink's going to try to kill me, but he has no idea where I am. I don't think he knows I'm in here at all. So he's, he will try to kill me, though. Definitely. So maybe I actually hit the 18 and put it up here in the corner and stack the three here and just pray I live with this five troops. Whoo! Because I don't want to run this 18 down and like give him a trail to follow and then he's already here. He might as well, then he'll be like, well, I might as well keep going. Like if black's blocking this with an 11 or something, pink won't find me. And purple and black probably don't get me. I can't rule it out. Black might, black, black has everything. Started with 15 only, though, so the bots actually slammed them pretty good. White's going to do something this turn, though. All right. There's my trade on five. White gets 13. Uh, maximum, he has two capitals. Where would his 13 come from? It's hard to read what he might have, to be honest. Like, the board state is crazy. Like, because of these blizzards, you can... Because of these blizzards, the Spain blizzard, the Italy blizzard, and these ones, you can pretty much... Uh, Hungary Trieste is a two-point guard on the left half of the map. White might go for that at some point, right? If he cleans the whole left side of the board and holds this, pretty interesting. I trade and go for the red kill if I can find it here. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what in the world? Why would you even think about that? I'm on five cards. Red, purple... Black are all going to take a third card. So if I trade on five for 40, maybe 45 if pink trades first, I go hunting, I get a kill for 45 or 50, I go hunting, get the other kill, right? Red and purple are weak. Red has 12 territories. Need to make note, red has at least 12 territories. But if I can come out of here and I can find the, ra the last of red, because black, like black's been trying to clean out the middle, white's trying to clean out the middle, if we find the last of red somehow, or we go for purple first. I think red has less troops than purple, if I'm being honest. Pink starts... Yep, there's the... He's going to go for my kill. He thinks he's got me, but he doesn't. He goes up with everything. He doesn't know how much is in here, does he? 19? Okay, he does. Does he have me is the question. He had a, a 69 he split 19 off or something. Yeah. So he's got like a 50 to come through. No, he's, he thinks that that's me and it's not. If purple doesn't, purple doesn't have a set, can't kill me. If black doesn't find me in this corner, I live. And purple only start, leader three capitals, by the way. That was after whose turn? Pink's? No. Red's turn? White. Must have been white that took a third cap. Purple starts with five, has maybe a cap or, or a lot of territories. And it's in Eastern Europe. All right, 18 for black. It's going to slam a bunch of the middle. Obviously, we can't go for the black kill. But we definitely should be looking for red or purple if we can. We're going to come out the bottom and see. There's no humans down here, I don't think. We pray there's no 20 stack of black that comes into the back of Spain. Because that will end me really quick. Also, pink has a 50 stack on his cap and no, um, no trade on two. So if I can trade here and get a trade on three or succeed on getting a kill into trade... Can maybe hold this bottom section from like a one point. I don't know. We're live though. Believe me, I don't know how. All right. Oh, that's red. Hold up. This could be the last of red. This could be the last of red. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, black might have a set. Purple could have a set. So if I do that, I probably want to go here. What are the sets? They're huge, right? Go here. I want to guarantee a card too, though. I need to guarantee a card. I mean, if purple sets, it's more likely to hit the 9 than my 31, right? Oh, no set on 3. I need to guarantee myself a card. The problem here is if I take all these... 
And black and purple don't roll each other, and I only start with three troops, and there are a bunch of five stacks in here, or eight, nine, and ten. I won't get a card. I have to get a card next turn. We tried to kill red. We were hoping that was all of red. It wasn't, so... Uh, white starts with 15 now. White might chain the red kill. Also, purple kill might get fed to me. There's a chance that purple gets fed to me. Red trades on three. That's hilarious. Well, I'm glad I knocked it out of down here then. It's going to put all of that into these guys. Do we think pink actually successfully holds Russia? <clears throat> uh, maybe. I'm purple within Donetsk. I don't, I don't know. It probably rolled the, the Rostov territory. Red bot's causing some mayhem in the middle. I, I should actually be watching this cap leader counter. Uh, I, White's the one that's got three, right? So White is holding the center of France. He's got London and wherever his original cap was, which maybe it was Scandinavia. Maybe it's deep in Italy somewhere. Pink starts with five, so he doesn't hold Russia. Takes a card. He's not going for the purple kill, is he? Multiple attacks? No. I don't think he's going for purple, so I don't think this 15 is a purple kill. If purple adds only all of its troops here, then I, then we could assume maybe, but no. And also, here here's the prime example. If I went back into this corner and purple and black don't do anything, I'm card blocked. I have to be able to hit a card here. And I don't think I'm hitting the 15. Just in case I feed purple's four cards to one of these guys. I can't afford to. Black is 23. Uh, my 31 lives. <laughs> I'm hopeful that it, it rolls some stuff down here. Also, if purple doesn't have a trade on four, black would probably kill it here. Unless I hit the 13. 10 goes out. I'd like it to go out. No? Okay. I want to give the 13 more avenues to attack. Black's going to have a set on four, too. This is very threatening. I need to get a set on four big time. Hmm. All right. So I hit the five and what? Go hide in Spain? I don't want black. I don't want black to kill the purple 14, though. If purple has no set, I don't want black to kill the, this. This is unfortunate. Okay, I have to hit this. I have to hit this. Hit this. Hit this. If black trades, should my 26 live? I don't know. Leave 11 in the corner? Do, please tell me. I have a trade on four. Oh my god. White trades immediately. Starts with eight only. So he took some damage. He lost a cap. Probably to black. He's on two out of six. He's going to take one back, right? I need the kind of luck where they try to kill purple and leave him here. And then black doesn't successfully kill it. Like purple's 15 comes up, splits, and comes into Spain. And then black doesn't actually successfully follow it and kill it. And then I get it. I can trade, kill purple, trade, and then come out looking. And if I get two trades for 60 and 65, pink's cap is a 55 right now. Right? So if I get, uh, if I can kill purple with like a 20 stacker, my 11 comes out and gets them. And then this 20 stack, I add a 60 and a 65 to it. Then it's a 145. It comes out. I can kill pink for his four cards and then uh, probably find red for its two cards and then destroy white. Right? That's what we're looking at. Red starts with six, has 12 territories. There's a lot of bots banging and clanging up here, man. As if we're in this situation, right? Ugh. But I wasn't about to let pink hold this plus eight. Maybe I could have. Maybe I should have let pink hold this plus eight and then I hold Russia. But the, the speed at which he took this plus eight, I wasn't even gonna get Russia first turn and he was gonna get eight additional troops. Probably start with like 13 or 14 troops on his turn. That's like... I'm basically, he could just end my game, right? I don't want to put myself in that kind of vulnerability. He has no set, takes a card, so he's on 60. He's on a 60 cap. No trade purple? Okay, no trade for purple. Does black hit any of this? Purple started with three. So it's got 10 territories max up here. 
Wow, no set for black either. Purple's not an Orient. I can come right out through the middle. I can probably get purple. If I can trade, kill purple trade, that's, uh, we're laughing. This, by the way, was a 14 stack. So it's a five and a nine, unless it lost one. No, five and a nine. Does it roll that? No, probably not. If I hit the five with enough to come through with like a 20. <laughs> do I do that or not? I have to trade. 100%. This. How deep can I go? Oh, this is a capital! Hold up. Wait, where's purple, man? Okay. Mama! I'm coming home. Can I kill pink off this? 65. So 99 on 55 on, uh, on pink. Huh. Something like this, and then like this. Okay. I have a position and two strong capitals. Black's on five cards. Maybe I could have, like, Black's been getting a lot of troops, though. I should be okay to trade on four and actually, now I'm in a god, if, if Pink has no trade on four, he's dead. I could have tried a 99 on 55. I don't think it's that good, though. Because I don't know how many ones he's got back here. What a sick find on the purple kill, though. That made all the difference. And now black trades. I mean, my 55 cap is safe from a black trade. 70. It's not going to hit this with an 80 on 55. Um, pink might trade and try to kill me. But if he does, that just means I can trade and kill him back. I'm going to maybe end up in a 1v1 with white. This is a god position now. This, The fact this cap was free after all that... And I did get that purple kill. I put just enough here to kill it. I went looking for it first. When I was convinced I found all of purple, I, I finished it here. If it wasn't finished here, my 34 was in a position to go left and see if it was over here. But I didn't think it was. Red took a third card. I need to trade kill red trade now. Or I wouldn't get a trade off that. Is he going to hit me? No, he takes a card and passes. So pink's one of those guys. He's literally going to take a card and pass. Okay. Black trades. 75 troops. It's going to surround my 55 cap. As if pink is this kind of player, huh? Boring. How do I get red then? How do I actually get red? Black has a set on three. I could lose this 55. How is red not dead? Dude, come up with that so I can come down with my 55. I have a trade anyway, so I can, I guess, leave the 55 and go hunting. Yeah. Okay. I will trade because I want to go see what I can find. I also not, kind of want to knock red, uh, white out of this side, right? Uh, this should be higher. Let's go 69. Okay. White, 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 white. Didn't get him. That's fine. Where's red? White's capital? Bro? Okay, I couldn't kill Red. What the fuck is all this? White has nothing. He's been fighting the shit out of the bots, dude. Well, I'm on two cards. Pink's on two. 
White's gonna come back on me over here. He's not even worried about over here. I went hard to try to find that kill, right? Black's almost dead too. White has nothing over here. He's gonna open my 57, which I'm actual, actually thankful for. Now White's goal is to fight me to the death. I mean, what you've been a moron since turn one when you rolled my six cap with an 11. I like, what is this? What is an 11 v six? Let me just see. It's a 59% roll. So 41% of the time you just lose. And the rest of the time you like barely get it, but you don't get to hold it. This is all of red, I think. Yeah, it is. Fuck. <clears throat> Red's got like 33 troops. Unfortunately, I didn't. I got to the end with a 19 stack. If I went through this eight, maybe? I don't know. I mean, okay. 57's open if this... If black can open me here, I got it. If black opens me in Trieste with Vienna, I've got red kill. Uh, Pink's stack is trapped. He's going to take a card here. Unless he comes through the 21 in my 69 cap. No. He's on three cards. Black no set. Please take this bonus and open me. And then I kill red. Yes! Okay, we gotta kill red. Can I kill red into white? Oh wait, hold on. Can I kill red into white? I don't know how much is here. How much white is here? There was a seven, but he came down with it all, right? And then he backed it off. Can I kill red into white? Well, red's got like 30-ish troops, right? So we got to make sure we get there with like a 50 at minimum in case I screwed up. Yeah. Slider, slider, slider. Okay, can I kill white with a 60 trade? I gotta kill a 7 cap, a 19 cap, and then what's down here? Uh, the 8 cap is already covered. He's like a 7 cap, a 19 cap. What's a 19 cap? 100%? Uh, 45? Ick. What's a 7 cap? I don't know. 22? And then what this? Mama! <laughs> can I kill Black off this? I think I can. Um, something like this. Oh, chain kill the bots. That's how you play the game, baby. Is that a double trade? Yeah. Um, 35. 35. 35. His cap's trapped as well. His cab is trapped. It, it, it can't get out, right? I didn't open it in the back. Good game. Well played. He's going to go hide in the corner. Woo! I'm going to world dom him because he's the motherfucker. In the start of the game, taste it. Don't care. Taste it. Taste it all the way down. He had no set on four anyways. What a game, baby. What a beautiful game. Were we down to what? Five troops at one point? Chain kill, chain kill, chain kill. Quick calculation. Slam, slam, slam. Winning all of them grandmasters. Not quite, but uh, 
What a banger game, man. It uh, it started out pure stupidity in the first couple turns. Three people quitting, but then you, you can win almost every game if you just know what to look for, right? You don't need a cap. You don't need a snowball. You need to pay attention and uh, go for those bot kills when, uh, or bot kills, the kills of the players that leave, right? If you can chain kills, that's everything in this. Like, look how weak white was and that red, oh my God, it was juicy. That was so beautiful. Thank you for joining until the end of the video. Please subscribe if you're new here and I'll catch you in the next one.